Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Miami and this is Project a and where I talk about HIV awareness, HIV education, news, updates, and everything that's going on around this world in HIV. <laughs> All right, people, okay? So the first story I wanna go ahead and talk about is the new discovery of the new HIV strand. There's a new HIV strand. Yes, as of November 2019, probably they had it before, but they announced it this month, this week, that there's a new strand. And that that calls for a lot of information that I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about. And what does that really mean? You know, I'm going to break it down for y'all. Y'all know I'm not familiar. Y'all hanging out here in these streets about some new strands of HIV, okay? I'm going to go ahead and break it down for y'all. So I know you're like a new strand. Like, how many strands is it? Like, you know, how many... There's a lot of them, actually. However, there's only two types of HIV, and there's four groups of HIV, and this new strand is in one of the groups, which is the M group, and the M group has nine different strands in it. Now, there's the A, B, C, D, F, G, H, J. Yeah, I think. And now they want to go ahead and add this L. So this means a few things, right? They said it had to be three cases for it to be even submitted to say that there's a new strand. So they just found this third case. Now this new case came out of them having this new way of testing for new strands of HIV. They have brand new technology now. So they're able to test for new strands to make sure things are not metamorphing and, you know, becoming something else in which HIV does that. That's why there's no cure as of today. However, that's why the new testing nowadays, when you get a test for HIV, you have to make sure what it should be. You see HIV one and HIV two on those tests because you don't want to just test for HIV one, HIV two will not get picked up. You know what I mean? So there's two sides of this new finding this new strand of HIV when it comes to the researchers and for the scientists. So, so one side is saying there's nothing to worry about. This is a very rare case of a new strand of HIV. And we just found the way and use the technology to be able to find it. So this case is rare. You guys don't worry about it. There's nothing to go crazy about, but just know there's a new strand. And then there's another side. And some researchers are saying, okay, this just shows that we don't have HIV under control. This also shows that HIV continues to mutate. This also shows that HIV has different ways of forming. And this is why there's so much medication or so many ways to give people medication. And that's why there's not just one pill for HIV because there's so many different types. And I mean, so many different strains. There's only two types, but so many different strands of HIV. And actually using the new technologies on how to test and search and locate different strands, they're saying they're looking for more. They're going to be looking for more. And I'm like, looking for more? But it's a good thing because now they have the technology and the equipment to actually find it. One of the, one of the scientists are using a, like an example of saying, okay, this new strand of HIV is like a needle in a haystack. But we just have a huge, we have just discovered a new magnet that can just hover over it and pull the strand out. And that's how we discovered it. So I was just like, okay, you know. I guess the more strands they have, the better they can understand on how to cure this thing because you can have a cure that can do HIV-1 out of the groups and a few of the strands, but what if somebody has a different strand? They can't be a part of the cure or the vaccine because they have a different strand. So the more we understand the strands and the groups and all of this type of stuff, the better we can cure the whole world and not just a few selected people who have different strains inside of different groups. So I think it's a good thing. I think this is a good discovery. However, this brings me to the next video I'm about to post, which is gonna be the part two of this, on how is it that this week, there's been two major reports in HIV, in the HIV world. And then now in Maryland, there's a new cure possibility that has just been submitted to the FDA. But it's just kind of a coincidence that a possible cure has been has been submitted but then now scientists and researchers are saying there's a new strand so again i hate to think negative i i really do but it's just there's so much money at stake when it comes to hiv and i don't think these companies and these researchers and these scientists are going to just let it go i want them to we all want them to but we really have to really this is, this is, this is, 
America, if you know what I mean. So, but anyway, hopefully you guys get on to the next video. I probably said too much. The links are below to support what I'm talking to you guys about. And I only come here to make sure I just water it down for y'all. Not water it down, but condense it and let you know what's the real, you know, what's good. Good to see you guys again. I hope you guys are subscribed. If you are not, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you loved this video and everything I said about it. And make sure you hit the notification bell because the notification bell will alert you when I go ahead and upload videos, even randomly. You'll get an alert that I just uploaded something. And until the next time, 